and welcome back to Let's Play Amori. Last time, Sonny came face to face with another one of his fears and more or less conquered it, although not as well as he would have hoped. This time, we've got some more side stuff to finish off before we get to the rest of the game, but this shouldn't take too long. Now this next thing I'm going to do isn't necessarily critical, but may as well. We fix that arcade game, and if we bug this guy... Yeah, Sprout Mole Eater sounds fun. For now. But yes, we got another arcade game to play. Just another dollar to play it. Pretty expensive for uh, well, an arcade game like this. But here we go. I guess they didn't want to make a whole change system. Anyway, Sprout Mole Eater, it's, it's Snake. So we'll just uh, see how well we can do with this. I'm not very good at Snake, so this will probably end abruptly. As you can see, I always miss those turns. Well, let's see what... Uh, <laughs> yeah. It does not help that this is a particularly laggy uh, game of Snake. Man, when was the last time I played Snake? I think, like, it was Google or something that had it as, like, a special thing for some kind of anniversary that you could play it in your browser. Or maybe it was YouTube and it was like a Easter egg and annotations before they removed those completely. And I, yeah, I just completely <laughs> hosed myself there. But yeah, there is nothing associated with actually doing that, so don't worry about it. Just a fun little Easter egg to show off. And you know what? L let's do this right now. I considered uh, paying this guy on the next day, but we, we honestly can just do this right now, so l let's help the guy out. And I'm going to be doing something specific with the rest of my money. $30 to the guitar guy? Ah, so he's got enough to finally head out. Yeah. Don't want to leave anything unsaid. Okay. Now, okay, I, I actually have not done much with that quest, so it looks like the next step in it does have to be done the next day, but we've done it all the money we need to. Now, let's just talk to the old hobo. I'm gonna skip through his text and all his coughing. Okay, we're gonna donate another $10 to him. See, $40. And we're just gonna give him one more payment of $10. Oh. Okay, $1 and then $10. I'm going too fast through the text. Doesn't help that he really staggers it out with all the coughing. Okay, here you go. And that puts us at $51. Why to give him all that money? Well, that'll become apparent the next day we're in faraway town, but not this day. Now, let me just consult my notes here. Okay. First order of business is we want to head to the house of the married couple who's quibbling over their diet. We just got them some gifts that they could give each other, which is food. Not particularly healthy food at that. So let's just check them out. It's kind of an awkward scene that we just walked into. Caramel apples. Very nice. <laughs> These guys not received very many gifts. I think they're uh, losing track of the whole diet plan here. Well, this was awkward. My sentiments exactly. So, Hero, are you glad to be back home for this? 
But that's all we needed to do for that quest. Slice. Talk to the clumsy guy. <laughs> and we get another pizza slice. Not that those actually do anything in far away town, but you know. Now that's taken care of, we gotta give that lamp to the lady. Actually, since we're in this area, just one little thing that we can show off. Earlier, we uh, came to the cemetery and had a little heart-to-heart -heart with Kel, and he said the hero wasn't quite over the whole, you know, thing that happened to Mari. So let's just try and take him to the cemetery, but not yet. Perhaps tomorrow he'll be willing to go. Don't think the pastor has anything interesting to say. He definitely doesn't have anything critical to say, so we're just gonna speed on along. Now, next up on the agenda, we bought that lamp that the woman's son was supposed to get, but he was being difficult. So let's just return that to her. Like I said, you can pocket the money you want if you want, but we won't be able to complete the side quest if we do that, so... Let's just give her the lamp. Billy, huh? Yeah, he's a... Uh... He had a very... yeah... I'm trying to find the right word for it. I guess just a sour attitude. Hmm. I'm actually having my morning coffee right now. Well, let's go in her house, see what it looks like. Hmm. Not a bad place you got. Give me that coffee. Okay. And we can just get ourselves a cup of coffee. Very nice. Now let's just check out the rooms here. Ah, so this is the house of the girl who has a crush on Mikhail. Yeah, but it's also, you know, peaceful. Not very stressful to live here. And. Billy. He's a very minimalist person, I can tell. Can't even raid his bed. His TV has seen better days. I guess it's still functional. For a given definition of the word. Alright. But that's all we can do here. You know what? We got that coffee. Let's just take a sip. Looks like Sonny does not have a high opinion of coffee. Now, we finally have to head in the direction of Kel's house, but just one more thing that we can do in Far Away Park. Hey! He's become a recycletist. Well, wonder... He seems to have a differing ideology from the guys next to him. Wonder how that'll develop. Eh, maybe it doesn't mean anything. We visited all of uh, Aubrey's gang in their house, except for one. Ah, so this is where Mikael lives. An evil presence, you say? Hmm. Well, we can check it out for you. Definitely sounds a little ominous here. We got a very low resolution photo of Jesus up there. I'm not sure if this uh, the religion in this town is supposed to be some sort of alternate version of Christianity or if it's supposed to be something different entirely that just vaguely resembles Christianity. They don't really reference it by name at all, but I have a feeling what we're looking for is here. Some cardboard cutouts. 
something stuck on the back. Let's check it out. Hmm, a game of hide and seek, you say? Looks like some baking accolades here. <laughs> well, the twins always gotta be symmetrical like that, I suppose. Nothing in the cabinets. Nothing in this one either. Nothing under the bed. Hmm. I have a feeling there's nothing in this room. Huh. Were those there earlier? Ah, just a trick. Come on, give us a break. Oh, am I hiding out in the bathroom? <laughs> Does not look like there's anything here, though. Not even any ramen in the toilet. What kind of bathroom is this? Alright. Can't imagine they'd be in their parents' bedroom, but you never know. A kitty! But otherwise, nothing of interest. Well, they can't have gone too far, especially since they just pulled that trick while we were in their bedroom. So, let's just check in here. Ah, I think I see something. Also, geez, Mikhail, could you keep your room any messier than this? In fact, uh, we're, we seem to be three people instead of one brother. They do at least seem to care about him. Ah, perhaps we've disappointed them. Life can be tough being the dutiful siblings. Oh, you know, things. Uh, how's the weather? You know why the Scarecrow got an award? Because he was outstanding in his field? Well. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, while we're in here, let's just check out Mikhail's room. Seems to be a fan of various types of media, from zombie movies to even Captain Space Boy and video games. Who doesn't love video games? Actually, that looks like a shelf of figures, but whatever. Hmm. Guess he's feeling blonde this week. Well, let's just go say hi to Daphne and Bowen in the room. If you say so. Huh. There is a point. Then again, it's better to be educated than to be ignorant. Uh, Mikhail, we solved the problem for you. You can go back in. Eh, didn't cost us anything except our time. They're eccentric. And... If I remember reading right, I think there's something that you can do if you come back in, but if it's not, if there isn't, we can just leave. But just to check it out. Yeah, they just say the same thing. Okay. And it's probably the next day that you can come back here to do something. Alright, but with all that taken care of, let's just... Before we had the Kells house, got some business in Chris's house. Oh, you know, it's going good. Lost it again? Hmm. Lost it when you went to the bathroom. Well, I have an idea. And, let's see here. Up, oh, I see it. Yeah, we put it right on the shelf next to the toilet. Don't take your electronics into the bathroom with you. 
Okay, I, I, I'd be lying if I said I don't, I don't take my phone with me. Well, that's exactly what you did, my man. Yay, Orange Joe. Yeah, well, let's take a sip of the Orange Joe. It's not, the, it's not a toy. It's a drink. Here, Kelly, you love it. Oh, pff. apparently we all shared the same cup of coffee. That's all we need to do there. Actually, I lied earlier. There is one more thing we can do in Faraway Park, although it's not critical at this point since we've already completed the quest associated with it. But, just for the sake of showing it off, in case you hadn't done the other quests, the park area, or the high hidden area, is cleared away now. And if you can see back there, we got another seashell. So just an extra one, though. You really do only need the three to complete the side quest, and I'm not... I'm honestly not sure if there's anything you can do with the extra ones. I suppose we could just try handing it to Chris to see what happens. Yeah, you know let's do that, since we're heading back that way anyway to get to Kel's house. Worst case scenario, it just doesn't do anything. Okay. That was taken care of. Got another seashell for you. Okay, no, it doesn't do anything. Alright, then let me just look at my notes again. Find the remote, Daphne and Bowen. And we visited all of Aubrey's gang, so that should be everything. Let's get back to Kel's house. Here's Hector again. But hey, that sparkle kind of reminds me of... So, we get our first hangout point in Faraway Town. We can play with Hector. Or, more specifically, we can just stand here and watch Kel play with Hector. What dog doesn't love a good game of fetch? And yeah, you can just watch them play that for a little bit. However, we've got business in the house, so let's go in there. We're home! Oh, you know, out and about. You know, saving people from drowning and side quests. Equally important things. Oh, Cal. Okay. <laughs> you don't say that about people's hard cooked food or the effort they put into making food. Yeah, yeah, I was trying to say something here that sounded like better, but my mo as always, I'm struggling to find the right words. Look, recording off the cuff is hard. Let's, let's just uh, see what else uh, Kel's parents have to say. That's right, it's a happy time. It's a reunion. Sounds like the baby's awake. We actually haven't had a chance to see Sally yet. Yeah, we'll check out the food. But before we do, we'll just look around the house a little bit. We were so uh, we were in so much of a hurry earlier. We didn't really stop to see the various things they got around here. Most notable of which, oh, what a nice family portrait. And anything else interesting? Turn on the TV. Yep, don't check the family portrait again. Yes, yes, we're aware. They're a nice looking family. Let me see what they got on the bookshelf. Fishing or golf? Lots of fishing and golf books. Okay, let's get some food. Alrighty. Hey, hero. You got a hero sandwich. A big ol' hero sandwich. Hey, it's the thought that counts. <laughs> I 
very much a perfectionist, it seems. Hey, we got a singing fish here. And unlike the one in the igloo, this one actually works. Alright, let's take the chicken. Now let's just throw the whole thing in the microwave. Plate and all. I'm not sure how long you'd have to cook that for to get it to go all the way through. That was quite the chicken. <laughs> yep, Sunny's moving away. Exciting, but he's also leaving a lot behind. Watching cartoons. <laughs> oh, sounds like uh, Sonny's parents were fairly well to do. Yeah, we should check that out. Before Sunny can answer, the food is done. Watch out, plate might be hot. Surprised that thing could just be crammed right in the microwave. Alright, let's go eat at the couch. Like a modern family. Yeah, let's take a look at the album. Although, in this case, we're just gonna quickly leaf through it, because, uh, you know, in my own personal playthroughs, sometimes I do just reread the album descriptions for the heck of it. But we've already done that before, and it just needlessly balloons out the video. So, we'll just quickly leaf through it. Man, though, so many photos missing. Yeah, we're done. Probably a safe bet. Yeah, we noticed that. Well, I noticed that. Good times. Well, it's not like we can't revisit some of those days. Yeah. It's not quite the same as the times in the photos, but good for the nostalgia, after all. Yeah, we didn't even eat the food. Alright, now who's gonna calm down Sally? I don't know if Kel is exactly up to this task. Ah, looks like he failed. Looks like a uh, hero is not exactly great at standing up to his mother. Yeah, come on, you gotta be mindful of Sunny. This is his only opportunity to reconnect with Hero. Thank you, Kel's dad. Mr. Something or other. Kind of a light punishment, in my opinion. I actually rather enjoy washing the dishes. Can make those things sparkle. Alright, well, let's get on out of here. But before we even get a chance to step out, Hero, 
wants us to do a little thing for him. All right, let's get some flowers. Now, if you had happened to already buy some flowers, there's a little bit of dialogue here where he says, oh, I see you already have some, but let's get some fresh ones. So no, you can't speed this up by just having flowers already. That said, when we do get there, we're gonna buy a couple things of flowers. And the reason for that will become apparent in the future. Just a little bit more to go. And in to fix it. Looks like, uh, because faraway towns, but of a small place, the hardware store has to double as the florist. Oh, he's better about this than Kel is. Nice, ten dollars. And he doesn't expect us to return the other, or the excess money, so make a tidy profit of six dollars there. But yeah, the second set of flowers, what we'll need that for will become apparent later. And unlike the first set of flowers, you don't need to get fresh ones when the time comes for it. Alright. We'll just turn that back in to Kel and Hero's mother, and then we can get to Sunny's house. Alright. Up in here. Yeah. We've done everything that we needed to. At least I really hope we have. Alright. Let's just hand those flowers over. Take a sip of my coffee. See, the real hero is also prone to turning on the charm. You say so, Mr. Kell's dad. Looks like we smoothed that out pretty well, though. <laughs> I personally have a decently easy time making friends these days, but eh, maybe I'm just weird like that. That's good to know, at least. So he's got people watching his back. Before we head out, let's see. Just a little bonus scene we can get here. This one's pretty easy to miss. You know, Cal, he's still got that childlike competitive nature. Uh, actually, looking at it, I think just by a little bit, Cal is taller. I don't think that little spike of hair coming off a hero really counts. Yeah, where do you go from here, Kel? <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess that's close enough to a compliment for Kel's uh, liking. But that's all we needed to do, so let's get on out of here. And with handing over the flowers, we've advanced to nighttime. So. Yep, here it is. And in just two days' time, it's not going to be Sunny's anymore. Yeah, but we'll save that for the next video. We've approached the half hour mark about now, so I think that's enough for this one. And got a decent amount accomplished, and when we come back, I'll go into Sunny's house, reminisce for a bit. I have a feeling, probably got another trip to Headspace coming up. So, until then, hope you have a good day, and hope to see you next time. Goodbye.